Hey, good morning. It's Jeremiah, Affordable Mobility Solutions. Home at mobility316.com. Today, I'm shooting a video of our 2018 Ford Transit. This has a rear entry, power brawn lift. I can swing these doors open. They have the magnets down here that'll help keep them from blowing in the wind, etc., etc. Open them right up. And to get this conversion to work, we have to have the ignition of the van has to be on. The emergency brake has to be set. And we have to have the lift turned to the on position. So it's got the uh, 30... Three and a half inch wide lift, 800 pound weight capacity. You can see it's got two stages here, so I'll hold it, fold all the way down, and then we hit the down button until the lift hits the ground. You got, uh... sorry about that, I had a customer walk up, but we've got uh, 60 inches coming inside, and then 67 half inches, 67 half inches of headroom once you're inside the van. Clips down, we got our our lighting to be ADA compliance. You have your seatbelt here for security and you can hang the uh, remote right back up there. I'll crawl into the van real quick. Show you a little bit about the layout. Headliner looks great. You have all your rear air, rear air back here. You have cup holders. You have upgraded Q-strength tie downs. A lot of our competition going to charge you six to $800 to upgrade to those. We throw those in at no additional charge to you. Uh, 5,337 cycles on the conversion, so fairly new. We've got our jack back here. We've got the crank that you can always operate the conversion manually if needed. It's not fun, but it beats being stuck. Got your triangles there. I love the seating in this fan. It's got these seats. They can go anywhere. These can be moved anywhere. These single seaters where this track is. So if you want to move this seat and you want to move it up here, it can be done super simple. So right now we have eight. It'll hold eight. You get one wheelchair here, a second one back here. So eight plus two wheelchairs. If you need more versatility and more room to hold more, more wheelchairs, these seats are also, these are brand new by the way, very nice clean interior in this van. We can fold the seat down here, like so, and there's a little lever underneath it. You can fold it up out of the way, so you can now get maybe three wheelchairs in here. And you can fold that seat up as well, move that one out of the way. So my point is, no matter what your situation is, if you need to haul a bunch of chairs, if you need to haul a bunch of people, this van gives you that option to do so. Dash is in great shape, no cracks or holes in the dash. You got all your rear air controls, the electric storage space up there. Got your two strength tie downs and warranty information there as well. We have our sliding door over here, of course. So your ambulatory passengers can easily enter. We have our safety gra a grab bar here. We have the extra step as well. So a lot of features on this van, no matter who you're hauling, wheelchair or ambulatory, you've got the option to change it up however you need. So when it's time to put the uh, lift away, again, two steps, just hold the up button here. And then once it gets to this cycle, we will hold the fold button. The lift will fold up and in. This is a Braun, Braun ability lift. It's got the uh, made here in the USA. And you can see that it's got the eight, 800 pound weight capacity on it. Hang it up here. Remember to shut the lift off. So you save that battery and you're ready to roll. I'll do a quick walk around of the van on the, on the tires on this van are all between nine and 10, 30 seconds. So they're not, uh, they're not new, but they've got quite a bit of tread left on them. So it's got good tires, got tinted windows in the rear. Got your, like I said, the step bar over here. The tires have some good, good tread left on them. They've got, got some good life left on them. As I do my walk around, I'm looking for little scratches, dents, nicks in the paint. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you this van is perfect, but it is very clean as the pictures and video show. And you hear me talk all the time how we can save you five to $10,000 on your next wheelchair accessible van. A little scratch there. Someone probably rubbed it up against something. If I see it, I'm showing it to you. But how we do, how we save you so much money, it's simple, it's low overhead. We have one central location, right here in Wichita, Kansas. That allows us to do free shipping anywhere in the lower 48 states. The other thing, I want you to imagine our competitors with 10, 20, 50, 100 stores. Imagine how many millions of dollars of overhead they have every month, not every year, every month that we don't have. That would explain why they have to charge so much for their vehicles to cover all their overhead. We don't have that overhead. We have one location. That's how we save you five to 10 grand per van, simple economics. The other thing is, no matter who you do, do business with, make sure you get a video of the VIN number. Why well, I say that on Facebook Marketplace, which is the dirtiest place in the world to buy a vehicle, I am not joking. These scammers will take our, our vehicles, they'll cut out my sign in the pictures, they'll post a vehicle like this on the internet for $15,000, and they want $1,000 to hold it. They don't, they don't even have the van to hold for you, they're trying to scam you. So no matter who you buy from, you say to them, I want a video of the VIN number on the vehicle. 
My name is Jeremiah Coleman. I own Affordable Mobility Solutions. I have this van here in my possession. They couldn't duplicate that video because they don't have the vans or simply try to scam you. Make sure you get that video. Make sure you protect yourself. Well, we do with that VIN number. I run a Carfax on every single one of our vehicles before we buy it. Carfax shows one owner. No accidents or damage. Last owned is a corporate vehicle. I like these corporate vehicles. It means they've been adult driven. They've been well maintained. Carfax shows no salvage, junk, rebuilt, fire, flood, hail, or lemon brands on the title. And they show no total loss. So this is not one of the super risky salvage or rebuilt titles. This is a one owner, clean title, no accidents. That's an A-plus Carfax report. That's what I'm looking for. Carfax shows no structural damage, airbags are never deployed, odometers accurate, and no matter who you do business with, make sure you find them online, check out their ratings and reviews. Look at us on eBay, 1,610 transactions. Every single one of those transactions left us positive feedback. That's why we have 100% positive feedback. And no matter who you do business with, find them on Google. Make sure they are a real company. Make sure they have a handful of reviews. Some of these scammers can make a fake Google page, and Google won't catch on to it for, you know, for two or three weeks. So sometimes they can make it look like they're a real company. Make sure they have a lot of reviews. We have 327. Check out our 4.8 out of 5 star reviews. You know, I hear horror stories all the time about people that bought from the general public or they buy from one of those low-end dealers that's got the 1 and 2 and 3 star reviews instead of 4.8 like we have. They end up buying a vehicle that has, has a salvage title they weren't told about, uh, flood damage they weren't notified of, major mechanical issues, engine, transmission, electrical, you name it. I've heard it all. So, hey, if you want the 1 and 2 and 3 star experience, you go ahead and deal with the general public and those low-end dealers. If you want 5 star vans with 5 star service and the best prices in the country, I look forward to working with you. All right, back to the van. We do have the one key fob. We have the keyless entry. If you do want us to get additional keys made on your dime, we can sure do so. We've got the vinyl seats up front here. Very nice, very clean. I'm a non-smoker. I can smell smoke from a mile away. No signs of any smoke or unusual odors in this van. That's another reason I like the corporate vehicles, because they're very strict on you know what they allow to go on inside their vehicle. Uh, 19,660 miles on the van. When I go to turn it on, this is no check engine lights on, no airbag. No ABS lights. And I'm going to show you the backup camera. Here's a backup backup camera. Great safety feature. Turn the radio on here so you can hear that works. There we go. Radio works. And we check everything on these vans. I've got three mechanics that work for me. Uh, we have them check the power mirrors, power windows, power locks, the heat, air, crews. I'm going to show you the mirrors and windows working here. Heat, air, crews, belts, hoses, suspension, steering, brakes check the tires taking these vehicles on a road test my point is we do not just run these to the car wash and throw them on the lot they go through a very thorough inspection before they hit my lot and I hope you can tell by our videos if nothing else we are thorough underneath the hood we got the v6 engine idles smoothly no signs of any damage no signs of any leaks and it purrs like a kitten as I crawl underneath the van much of the same very clean no signs of any bent metal from an accident no signs of any oil or fluid leaks uh, no signs of you know, any major rust from being that north. A little bit of surface rust, that's to be expected on a six-year-old vehicle, but everything looks great. No signs of any bent metal from being in a bad accident or something like that. No signs of any flood damage. And that's the number one mistake people make when they buy used vehicles. They assume things. They assume just because it looks nice in pictures. They assume because it only has 19,000 miles on it. They assume it runs and drives good. They assume it's never been in a bad accident or flood. Folks, you know how many vehicles I see every at auction every week that are brand new vehicles that have flood damage? These, these dealerships will take on a flood. They'll take their vehicles to the auction, dump them off, make them someone else's problem. If brand new vehicles can have flood damage, you better know what you're getting when you're buying a used vehicle. So no matter who you're doing business with, I want you to ask yourself, do they show me thousands of reviews online so I know I'm dealing with someone honest, reputable, and fair? Do they show me a free Carfax report so I know I'm buying a vehicle that has a clean title, no major accidents or damage, never been in a flood? They get on their hands and knees and even bother taking a couple pictures much less a detailed video both front and back so you can see no signs of any flood damage underneath here no signs of any major accidents or bent metal how about the roof you know how many vehicles i get i see at auction especially these taller ones well the roof is just trashed we got one of these at auction one time the roof was trashed obviously we sent it back they were trying to pull something on us Twenty-five thousand dollars to replace the roof on one of these things you better know what you're getting so uh, but on these roofs the sellers don't fix the roof a lot of times because no one looks at the roof you know who looks at the roof? Jeremiah with Affordable Mobility. That's who looks at the roof, and you better too. They are high dollar to get work done to, to get them replaced. So when it comes to price, and when it comes to reputation, when it comes to how thorough they are, and showing you the exact vehicle you're going to get, 
please compare me to the competition. Tell me what ends up happening if you end up buying a vehicle you can't get a title for because you're dealing with a shady individual. Or what happens if the vehicle won't pass inspection in your state because it's got a frame damage from an accident or a flood or a VIN, a VIN number issue, all sorts of deals. You know, If that kind of stuff happens, you bought a van you can't title. If you can't title, you can't drive it. Congratulations on your 8,000 pound paperweight that you can't even drive. So to avoid those problems and so many more, do four things before you buy from anybody. First of all, demand a detailed video like this, not some lazy 30 second walk around. Folks, this is not a brand new pair of pots and pans off eBay. This is a major purchase, demand a detailed video. Second, demand a Carfax report. Yes, Carfax cost me thousands of dollars a month, but I do that because I want to know what I'm buying. I run a Carfax on, it, on every vehicle before I buy it. I demand the best, you should too. I will not settle for a cheap knockoff and neither should you. Third, get online, find out who you're buying from, check out their reputation and reviews, make sure they are a real person, make sure you're not getting scammed. Lazy buyers get scammed. Don't be a lazy buyer, put in your due, due, due diligence. It's unfortunate we have to do things this way today, the way we do them. That's exactly why I'm out here making this video today to be 100% honest with you and show you that I'm, that I'm for real. And then finally, demand a warranty. Our van comes with a 90 day, 3,000 mile drivetrain plus warranty. Go to any shop in the country. Do not risk buying as it is. Demand that warranty. Let's get her out for a test drive so you can hear it run. Before I get her out on the test drive, I want to climb up here on this overpass. About 10 feet in the air right now, but I want to show you this roof. Show you everything looks good. It does have one little scratch up top. See that right there? I'm focusing on that. Someone probably ran under a, but it's not a hole. It's not a big dent or anything. But my point is, I want to be honest with you. I want to show you what I see. I want you to imagine one of the owners of the big box stores out here standing up on an overpass so they can show you exactly what you're getting with the roof of a vehicle. That's how we do things different here today. And I, if you know anybody else that does this, I challenge you. Let me know. I want to know who they are. If not, I want you to understand we are the most thorough mobility dealership and just car dealership in the entire country. So make sure you get that roof checked out. Make sure you get a video and a picture of the roof. Let's continue with the drive. Okay, the final portion of the video. I always like to get the vans out on the highway and give them some gas so you can hear the engine run. Feel the transmission shift through all the gears and you know whether you take advantage of our free shipping in the lower 48 states or if you come in and drive this transit home. We've done our due diligence. We've made sure that it's roadworthy. You'll see the steering wheel is nice and straight for this entire drive. No unusual vibration or noise. That van accelerates nicely. Let's see if I can get up to about 70 miles an hour here. If traffic permits, looks like it will. But yeah, van runs and drives darn like a brand new vehicle down the highway. Now do keep in mind, we have a 90 day complimentary warranty and no additional charge to you. Uh, we do sell long-term extended warranties that cover not only the van, uh, but also the conversion, the lift, which can be kind of costly to work on. So talk to me about how you can affordably protect your investment long-term. Also keep in mind, we don't have any hidden fees. A lot of these dealers show a real nice price online. What they have hidden in the fine print is a $500 administrative fee. They've got document fees, they've got tag fees, they've got freight, you name it, they have a fee for it. You know what they don't have? Free shipping. So by the time you add up the cost of all their hidden fees, and the cost of shipping, especially on a vehicle this size, that real nice price you saw online, just jump three, four, maybe even $5,000 on a vehicle this big. So be sure to ask about shipping and fees before you buy or sit back, relax. Let me take care of all that for you at no additional charge to you. My question to you, if someone's not telling you the real price of a vehicle, if they have a bunch of hidden fees on the back end to make more money on you, what else are they hiding from you? Is it a salvage title? Is it a flood damage? Is it major mechanical issues? You know, I can't speak for them, but one thing I can speak for that in any business, but none more important than the used car business, transparency is key. That's exactly why I'm out here making this video today to be 100% transparent with you. Keep that in mind when you're out shopping. I'm going to give the van a nice hard brake. The bottom of the ramp, you'll see no grinding, no squeaking, no unusual brake noise or vibration. Once again, exactly what we're looking for. Now, if you'd like to give us a call or a text message, Text is the fastest way to get a hold of us. That way anyone on our staff can respond as soon as possible. But you can call or text 316-262-VANS. That's 316-262-8267. My name is Jeremiah. I am the owner. That is a direct line to reach out to. Call or text me. I challenge you to ask the competition if they are dedicated enough to customer service to give you a direct line to call or text the owner of the company. Or do you get to call in and talk to an automated system and end up in somebody's voicemail and never get a call back? Or maybe you do get that live person that super aggressive, pushy, huge car salesman who's going to call you five times a day to ask if you're ready to make a deal. So if you're like me, 
sick of being treated like just by like a number by all these companies out there and you definitely want to avoid that annoying used car salesman give us a call give us a text we'll walk you through from start to finish and i promise you i'm going to sell this transit whether you buy it or not absolutely zero pressure sales here uh, yes we do have financing available and right now we have 90 days no payments you heard me right 90 days no payments we can send an application to your phone or email address and if computers aren't your thing i get in touch with us we're happy to take an application over the phone yes we do take trade-ins even from across the country whether standard or mobility vehicle again get in touch with us i can explain how that works and if you ever want to come in to view our inventory we do welcome that but we do require that you make an appointment why do we require an appointment good question well, I can fill the lot with a bunch of car salesmen that know very little about mobility vans. They're going to try and push you into making a deal. The guy I just referenced about two minutes ago in this video. Or I can have you make an appointment with myself, a mobility professional that's been doing this for over 13 years now. That wants to find the right fit for you. That's going to ask the right questions and get you taken care of. So make that appointment with us. Help us help you. Help us get organized. Uh, we have 85 to 100 vans. So let us find what you're looking for. Get it pulled out and get it ready to go for you. Simply make that appointment. And if you would like uh, did make it, if you did make it to the end of our video, thanks for hanging in there. I know it's a long video, but like I mentioned earlier, I know it's a major purchase, so I try to be as thorough as I possibly can. And if you'd like to see our entire inventory with detailed videos just like this, free shipping, free car fax reports, a dozen of pictures of every van, all with no hidden fees. So you know exactly what you're getting from the most thorough and transparent mobility dealership in the entire country. Check out our website 24 hours today at www dot mobility 316.com that's mobility 316.com and as always thank you so much for checking us out at mobility 316 home of affordable mobility solutions where mobility is affordable give us that call or text today and we really appreciate you giving us the chance to earn your business have yourself a wonderful day